What is going on Divine Beings? Welcome to the video. If you haven't already, go ahead and press that like and that subscribe button. Make sure you press that notification bell to stay updated on when your boy posts. We're going to be breaking down Mercury in air times Mercury or versus Mercury in water. So stay tuned for this video. I find that people with their Mercury in an air sign, Mercury in Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, they're able to keep their train of thought much more easier than others. Just for the simple fact that your words, your words steer the direction of your mind's eye. So there's a verse that states, um, pretty much in Proverbs 18, 21, it states that there is power of life and there's power of death in the tongue. And so if we're looking at this verse through the lens of astrology, Mercury is the planet that's associated with the tongue. Mercury is the planet that's associated with our communication skills, with our ability to rationalize, with our ability to think, with our ability to direct things into our reality through our, like, through your ability to verbalize things. There's also this other verse, James 3 and 4, that states, Behold, also the ships, which though they be great, even though the ships be so great, and are driven of fierce winds and they're controlled by strong winds yet are they turned about with a very small helm let's look up that word helm is a tiller or a wheel so ships are controlled by a wheel a tiller or a wheel and any associated equipment for steering a ship or boat so yet are they turned about with a very small helm, whithersoever the governor listeth, wherever the person who is co who is controlling it, the governor, govern means to control, the governor, the one who is controlling wherever they listeth. List means a list of, of places of things that you desire to do, that a list is it contains wherever you desire to go you know a list contains all the things that are spiraling within your mind so the tongue is the helm it is the steerer of wherever you desire to go being that the body is the ship so your body being the ship that travels through space you see the space the galaxy anytime we utter certain words we are uttering vibrations and I put my hand on my throat just for the simple fact that every time I talk, my vocal cords are literally vibrating. This entire field is made up of different levels of vibration, what we call frequency. Everything within nature contains a spiral. All of these have that same spiral. This is the signature of creation. So your words cause movement just the same way it says that when the creator spoke and then things materialize. So sometimes, if not wielded properly, people with the mercury in air can steer the ships of their own vessel, but they can also steer the ships of other people's vessels as well if they are not careful of how their words are utilized. And you got to think about how it's stated that the ships, it goes to wherever the helm listed. And it also stated that the ships are also affected by the winds and also by the tides that are surrounding it. The tides being the water. Water is connected to our emotions, how we feel on an emotional level, how we feel on a spirit level. You understand what I'm stating? And so even with the air and how the air, it also affects where the ships go. Um, the air talks about, like I stated, when we speak. We literally are utilizing air and air it differ it differs or air it causes um the vibrations to you know to fluctuate that are around us because of the the noise the noise level in which you speak at as well and also because those noise levels can generate different emotional reactions within you and also those words that you are stating they can generate different emotional reactions within other people. So I also find that people with their mercury in air, they like to do a lot of fishing, meaning that they like to cast their lines just like a spider web. They like to cast their lines and they like to see who will fall into their webs. They like to see who will fall into their, their whirlwinds, into their spirals. You see what I'm going with this? So these are beings that 
use words because they know that words are energetic signatures that produce different emotional reactions within other people's own inner world. And so with that, that's why I stated that your words are very powerful, but there's power of life and death in the tongue and mercury is the tongue. And it's not even just the tongue in and of itself, the tongue that tastes things, but it's also in the language because you know how they'd be like, oh, people are speaking in tongues. They're talking about people are speaking in unknown languages. They're speaking in light language, heavenly language. So the tongue literally just deals with also the language, like I stated. And so in every language, you know, we all utilize words. And you have to understand that words are merely symbols. And you got to understand that we used to use hieroglyphs in ancient times in order to convey messages. So words literally are their own miniature hieroglyphs and they're their own symbols or some they contain like messages or they have their own symbology that is unique to every letter. And so with that understanding, given that we stated that every time we speak, our vocal cords are vibrating, every word contains its own vibration. Every word contains its own frequency or rate. Frequency is a rate and vibration. They contain their own frequency and vibration in which they oscillate. Oscillate is just another word for vibration and movement. And this is pretty much what I speak on when I say frequency. You see the, the wavelengths of this little wave that's going up and down, up and down. So literally when you are connected to like an EKG monitor, a heart monitor, it's monitoring the fluctuations of your heart and the patterns of your heart and the frequency, the time in which your heart went from here all the way back down to here. So it's measuring the gap between those two and it's measuring the distance between those two. And so people with their air or people with their mercury in air signs, they are um, they're able to monitor the different the different wavelengths of your heart, because think about it. We stated that words are affecting the inner worlds of our being. So they like to affect the inner worlds of other people's being and call people to action based off of the words that they say. They like to stimulate a response in other people and cause other people to move to action. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead over to my part two to watch the full video on that breakdown, on the breakdown of mercury times air versus mercury times water. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, go ahead and press that like and that subscribe button. Make sure you press that notification bell to stay updated on when I post. Dash Divinity signing out. Thank you for watching, y'all.